I want to talk about Madeline Ashton. No, not really. I want to talk about political correctness and how damaging I think it can be. I think it can be just as damaging as fundamentalist organized religion. It teaches people that they cannot talk about or even think about certain things or it makes them bad people. It teaches us to not really be very honest about what we're thinking. It separates people. It draws a line between people. It means that we can never get to the bottom of some issues because we can never even talk about them. There are a number of subjects out there that when someone tries to talk about it, if you say, you can't say that, okay, well, give us a, a different way of, of talking about it. And the only thing that they'll, they'll give is something where you'd have to go on for two hours just as a pre, preamble for what you're wanting to say. And that, that's, that's just, to me, that's an outrageous expectation. <sighs> Political correctness puts other people's feelings above your rights. It puts other people's feelings above truth. It puts other people's feelings above the ability to effectively communicate. I have argued some things with some people and and just sort of kind of realized I was wrong in, a, in, in, in an area. I realized that I was wrong. Because the more I thought about it, it's just like, yeah, this, this doesn't add up. And it's when uh, discussing, uh, let's say, the, the bakery situation, where the bakery wanted to refuse to bake a cake for a gay wedding. And people would say, well, you know, if someone came into a gay business and said that uh, they want to make an anti-gay cake, um, shouldn't they be forced to make that cake? And originally I said no. And I argued that well, you know, the thing that they are trying to say is something hateful. And people would argue back, well, you know, how, do, how are you going to judge what is hateful? And I would try to come up with some argument that I, I don't even understand now. And it makes me go right back to something I had said before. You know, people should be able to state their beliefs and not have to worry about it completely destroying their lives. I think if a business is open to the public, they should have to serve everyone. So this means that the bakery that was anti-gay should have to make that anti-gay cake. That didn't make sense. I, I worded that bad. The, the, the bakery that's anti-gay should have to make that gay cake. <laughs> and the, uh, the gay business should have to make the anti-gay cake. A, uh, you know, a... A black business should have to make a cake that says, that has the word nigger written on it. Um, but any of these, these people 
should be able to blatantly say to these to these people that they disagree with, hey, we really disagree with you on this. They should even be able to say, we think you're a pile of shit for this. But we are a business open to the public and we have to make this for you, so here you go. This means that the the anti-gay business, the Christian business, should be able to tell those people that want to get the gay cake that they think they're going to burn in hell for eternity. This means that the gay business, uh, when they want to make, they're being forced to make this cake that says anti-gay statements, they should be able to make really cruel, nasty statements towards the bigoted Christians who are anti-gay. This means that the black business should be able to tell the, the people that want the cake that has the word nigger written on it that they're a bunch of racists and, compare, and they should be able to compare them to Nazis. They should be able to say whatever the fuck they want towards those customers, but they should still be forced to serve those customers. I think, I, I, as I said in a video way in the past, which I'm not sure if the video is still exists or not, um, that back when Phil Robertson first said some really nasty things and he got fired over it, I, I don't think he should have gotten fired over it. Especially since what he said wasn't on the job. People should be able to have their opinions whether we like them or not. You don't have the right to not be offended. We shouldn't be putting other people's feelings over our rights, over our freedom of speech. We shouldn't have the thought police. We shouldn't have these forces that are just as oppressive as fundamentalist religion can be. There's a video that I watched recently that I'm going to put a link to. And I can't remember his name. I don't think I'd be able to pronounce it if I wanted to. Who has some real sinus issues. Some people were leaving comments saying, oh, he must do cocaine or something like that. But uh, he made some really, really good points. He was talking about how, you know, he was joking with someone who was disabled and made some sort of a, a, a you know, a, a cripple joke and ended up becoming good friends with the person because he was able to make a very politically incorrect jest, joke, comment. You know, there's lots of things that go through all of our heads, whether we want to admit it or not, that are politically incorrect. We'll see something, we'll, we'll think a certain thing, we know that, we know what the reality is, and we know that sometimes things are not wouldn't be cool if we were to say it in a serious way. And, and, and we shouldn't go around just trying to, to treat people like crap or anything like that. But if there's something that shows our human side a little bit more, you know, I just don't think we should be made to feel like we can't say it. It's like we're getting to this point where, I mean, humor, all of humor is making fun of something. We're either making fun of a demographic, we're making fun of a person, we're making fun of a, a pattern we see in something, we're making fun of a language, that's really what humor is. It's making fun of something. It's, it's, it's 
poking fun at something. It's making a joke out of something. And as time has gone on, it's like comedians have to be more and more and more and more careful of what they say. Because everything seems to be becoming offensive now. It's like we're becoming these drones or something. I don't know. It's it's just the ways that political correctness blocks us from stating how we really feel about something or if like I said, if there's some sort of thing that pops in our head that, that's kind of funny, but we can't, oh, we can't say it because it will offend people. And we're so worried about that. And we're, we're, we're just like, we're kind of destroying ourselves with this shit. And this thing of political correctness really comes from all sides. Some people would like to, to say that it's mainly coming from the left, but it comes from the right as well. It comes from the right wing when it comes to religious things. Oh, you can't say that about religion. You can't say that about religious people. You can't say that about, about these values. You can't say that. That's also political correctness. Feminists third wave radical feminists, third and fourth wave radical feminists have gone batshit crazy on this idea that you can't say that, you can't say that, you can't say that, you can't tell a woman that, you can't say this about this, you can't say this about that. And it's gone really overboard. It's gone too far. It's gotten to the point where it's it's almost insanity. We are destroying ourselves with this shit. Again, I mean, we shouldn't go around trying to offend people. I mean, that just kind of sucks to just go around trying to make people offended. You know, there's kind of a balance there. But if your intention is not to is if your only intention is not to just offend someone, you actually have a point in what you're trying to say, or you're trying to, even if the point is humor, then that shouldn't be worried about. But we do. And everyone is getting so offended at so many things. And I will include myself in, in someone who, who has had this problem before with getting offended at shit that wasn't meant to be offensive. There are times where people will use the word faggot and it's not actually meant to be offensive in the, in the context that they're using it. But I'll refuse to look, I would, I used to refuse to look at the way that people, the context in the way that people are saying it, or the, the mindset of the people who are saying it. I would refuse to look at it. Because it required just a little extra effort on my part. Now again, this is not to say that going around calling gay people faggots is some good thing. But context. I've had a problem sometimes with context. I've struggled with this stuff myself. So if you think that I'm just, in saying this stuff, that I'm just preaching to others, I'm also preaching to myself. 
I'm reminding myself of this stuff. And as I said in the earlier part of this video, there are some things that I realized that I was, you know, I had no argument. I mean, I was trying to argue something that just didn't work. It didn't add up. It didn't hold water. So. Tell me what you think. You know, maybe I'm not coming from this from the right place again. Maybe someone can show me where I'm wrong about this. something I've talked about before is, you know, I don't think people should be fired because someone holds a certain opinion. Now, exceptions to that would be, you know, if the person is speaking badly against that business, yeah, that's that's not a good thing. If the person is saying things that are that is literally like they're they are saying things to turn customers away. Uh, yeah, you're turning customers away on purpose. Yeah, that's you. Sh that that sucks. You're hurting the business. You know things like that. Fine. But if it's just found out that someone has a certain opinion, or they like certain things, they like to go certain places. It's none of a business's. It's none of an employer's fucking business. If it's not, if it's not if seriously affecting your bottom line, you know, sorry, you're hiring the public, your customers are the public, you serve the public. That includes everybody. <laughs>